stations. National Weather Service reporting a tornado on the ground in High Point. On March 28, 2010, a series of severe tornadoes roared through Guilford County. Hundreds of homes were damaged or destroyed. In a matter of seconds, hundreds of lives were changed. Unfortunately, we were uh, the receiving end of a tornado that completely destroyed our home. Rambo was very nervous, shaking, and we thought something was wrong. We weren't really sure. I had lit him out and noticed that he went out came right back in, did not want to stay out. I followed, so I decided to go where he went. I heard the sound of a tornado coming. Called my wife, then called 911. Communications. Go ahead, Commander. I know you got a long list, but I, I'm, I know I'm gonna need some Red Cross assistance up here. Understood, sir. The Red Cross came out in the morning, did our interview for our need, and right then we were getting assistance. It was the first month's rent on my apartment. I went to the apartment, I told them we were dealing with the Red Cross. They said, don't worry about it. We know they'll send us a check. I get sort of emotional when I start to talk about helping people because I've seen some people in some desperate, desperate places. And it makes me feel really good to be able to help them. <laughs> we were extremely lucky that all the agencies, the local community, our neighbors and friends came to our rescue. Yes, I lost a lot of stuff, but I have really what's most important. I have my wife, I have my daughter, I have my health, and I got my dog. Most United Way partner agency programs, especially ones like the American Red Cross's Disaster Services Program, depend on community volunteers to carry out their mission of service. When you give to the United Way, you're helping your neighbors, you're helping your community. That's the reason that you need to support the United Way and the Red Cross, it could be you. You, you never know.